Welcome to another exciting episode of Unique Life. So I thought make a new video about another powerful weapon in the world. In this video we are going to talk about world largest nuclear submarine. So I will explain capability of K-329 Belgorod nuclear submarine. K-329 Belgorod is a class of specialized intercontinental unmanned nuclear-powered submarines built under Project 09852 for the Russian Navy. It was built by Sevmash, a shipbuilding company that is part of Russian joint stock company United Shipbuilding. The K-329 Belgorod, along with the Status-6 Oceanic Multipurpose System, was one of the latest weapon systems presented by Russian President Vladimir Putin during his annual speech in March 2018. The submarine was delivered to the Russian Navy on July 8, 2022. In light of the decommissioning of the last Typhoon-class submarine in 2023, the Belgorod is the world's largest operational submarine. The Belgorod will reportedly be the first submarine to utilize the Status-6 Oceanic Multipurpose System. Project 09852 was developed by the Rubin Central Design Bureau for Marine Engineering, a submarine development company of USC. The keel laying ceremony was held in December 2012. K-329 Belgorod was initially presented as a research submarine for carrying out diverse explorations, search and rescue operations, equipment installation and inspections, new research apparatus testing, and monitoring underwater transport routes. The central section of the submarine was redesigned in 2017 to replace the missile compartment with a longer hold to carry deep water rescue and autonomous underwater drones. The redesign made it the largest submarine of the Russian Navy by length, which extended from the initial 154M to 184M. The submarine was subsequently floated out as the first carrier of deep water nuclear propulsion Poseidon drones from the Sevmash shipyard in Sivirodvinsk in April 2019. The sea trials for the submarine were initiated in the White Sea in June 2021 and concluded in July 2021. The submarine was commissioned into the Russian Navy in July 2022. Belgorod is a special purpose and research submarine based on Oscar II class submarines. It is 184 meter long and 18.2 meter wide and has a displacement of more than 14,700 tons when surfaced and 24,000 ton when submerged. The submarine can dive up to a depth of 520 meter and can stay underwater for approximately 4 months. It can carry an AS-15 deep sea nuclear station. It can host deep diving nuclear powered midget submarines to conduct covert deep sea operations beneath the ocean surface. Midget submarines can target subsea infrastructure, including sensor arrays, pipelines, and internet cables. The submarine is propelled by two pressurized water reactors OK650M.02 OK having a capacity of 190 megawatts, which drives two steam turbines and twin screws. It can travel at speeds of more than 32 knots. The Belgorod nuclear submarine can carry six Poseidon nuclear torpedoes, earlier named Status-6, with six 533mm torpedo tubes. The Poseidon torpedo is an intercontinental, nuclear-powered, nuclear-armed autonomous torpedo with an estimated length of 24m and a diameter of 1.6m. It can operate at a maximum depth of 1000 m and has an endurance of 10,000 km and approximately 100 hours. It is the world's largest torpedo and can travel at a speed of 185 km h. It features long-range internal guidance sensors, possibly with external or abort features and obstacle avoidance sonars. The torpedo can carry 100 mt of nuclear warheads and is powered by a nuclear reactor, which drives a pump jet. It is a strategic nuclear torpedo weapon that may target naval bases and coastal cities. Now why do the West fears that the Belgorod can be the entrance point into a new Cold War underwater? It is all about the features that make the Belgorod a special submarine. What sets it apart is its mission. According to reports, it will carry Poseidon nuclear-capable torpedoes, which are designed to be launched from hundreds of miles away and to sneak past coastal defenses by traveling along the seafloor. It is a completely new category of weapons that will reshape naval planning in both Russia and the West. 
According to a U.S. Congressional Research Service report in April, Poseidon-type missiles are intended as retaliatory weapons, designed to hit back at an enemy after a nuclear strike on Russia. And the Belgorod can carry up to eight such missiles. In a 2018 speech, Russian President Vladimir Putin touted the Poseidons, saying, they are quiet, highly maneuverable, and have hardly any vulnerabilities for the enemy to exploit. Theoretically speaking, if armed with conventional warfare, Poseidon could be used against targets like aircraft carrier groups, shore fortifications, and infrastructure. Now, some military experts have doubts. It is still a technology in development, both the torpedo and the platform. Some West military experts do not expect the Poseidon torpedoes to be deployed until 2027. The conflict in Ukraine is showing that Russian advanced weapons are not the silver bullets Russia claims them to be. Instead, they do suffer from reliability issues. And there is every reason to believe that an intercontinental range nuclear-powered torpedo will have its fair share of problems. But what Belgorod does is change the underwater game. It is the first in a fleet of four submarines that could carry Poseidon torpedoes. Two of them will be in Russia's Pacific Fleet and two in the Northern Fleet. Other navies will likely want to counter it. The Belgorod can reinvigorate the underwater game of cat and mouse between the US Navy, the British Royal Navy, and the Russian Navy. It could lead to a new Cold War in the Arctic, North Atlantic, and North Pacific. The submarine is designed to address various research missions and conduct search and rescue operations. It also offers nuclear strike capabilities and support in deterring potential adversaries. Deployed in the Pacific Ocean within the Russian Pacific Fleet, the submarine has the capability to carry out missions in any part of the ocean. The Belgorod submarine successfully conducted a series of trial launches testing the mass dimensional model of the Poseidon torpedo in January 2023. The trials tested the submarine's performance at various depths after the launch. A new division containing Belgorod, Khabarovsk, and other submarines will come into operation in Kamchatka within the submarine forces of the Russian Pacific Fleet in 2025. Please comment your ideas about K-329 Belgorod nuclear-powered submarine in below comment section, and do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So we will meet again with another exciting episode of Unique Life.